today is winter trip testing day welcome back to the lightning mike channel and i just wanted to take you along with me on a winter trip i've got a lot of questions about my new tires how do they do in the winter uh versus uh versus the summer uh how like how's your range on a trip and things like that so i'm actually going to take a little trip uh, down to Texas and from Colorado to Texas and we're gonna see how this goes and I'll go ahead and uh, guide you along the way but we're gonna start here and I'm actually pretty excited we're gonna start we just finished our little pro power on board test so as you can see still at the 2.1 and that's uh, for those of you who missed that video we're getting an extra 0.1 on the range compared to this is how I got 2.0 uh, miles per kilowatt hour on my range for the new tires so far since I've been trying my idea of turning off the pro power on board then I have been getting 2.1 so we'll see if that works that same way on a trip so we're gonna go ahead and reset this right now and to reset it all you do is you hold down this okay right here and then it will reset for you and also if you notice over here I have it charged up to 100% do not worry about this range it's a guessometer so as long as you follow the miles per kilowatt hour which they will creep up there as soon as we start going so it is at 100% I do that before I go on the trip so that's the first thing you do and we're gonna go on our little trip so I was gonna show you here how to get directions uh, and get to where you need to go and how cool it is with Apple CarPlay uh, in the Ford Lightning. So let me just show you here. So basically, if you look here, we're just on a map, we're going down 25, and you just hold on this little button right here that'll alert Siri. Give me directions to Plainview, Texas. Getting directions to Plainview. So it will, it'll just give you the directions. You just hit go and it will tell you. In about one hour, 30 minutes, you need to make one stop in Trinidad to charge your vehicle. You should arrive with a 37% battery charge. So it will tell you. It's about 111 miles, continue straight. <laughs> so Siri will tell you and like where to stop. And I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna test this out and see if where it tells us to stop or the good stops. And uh, yeah, this is my first time using it. By the way, if I haven't told you, I really love Blue Cruise. Blue Cruise allows me to record a video and I'm keeping <laughs> Blue Cruise just drives for me. It's awesome. Something else I did wanna point out for this test and seeing the range, I always go 70 miles an hour, even if it's 75, 80. Of course, uh, if it's below 70, I will, I'll go below that. But on a trip, I'll actually go 70 miles an hour. But something I wanted to point out to you, I've gone 15 miles so far. 15 miles, and it's still saying 100%. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know when it's going to stop. Like, I don't know when it's going to uh, go down to 99. Oh, it just went down to 99. Woo. Watch the road. Let me show you. I'm watching the road. Look, it just went down to 99, but I had 15 on 100%. Anyways, so what I looked up and what I found out is that uh, 100% actually, whenever it charges it all the way, uh, Ford has set it up where your battery is actually bigger than what it actually states. So it'll actually stay at 100% a little bit longer. Uh, so that's just what I've heard. It's a little bit sneaky, but I really actually think that's kind of cool because it makes you feel like you're going, you're getting a lot more <laughs> miles per kilowatt hour, so. So I'm here my first stop. I'm just gonna sit here and charge for just a few minutes and it actually works out pretty well. Uh, so we're just gonna get it up to 80%. And I was a little hungry. It's about two hours. So 
uh, yeah, this is kind of how you do it. Really, you just, you go for a couple hours, three hours maybe, and then you pull over and you charge for a little bit and then you do it again. So uh, it really shouldn't take that long. But the other cool thing is, uh, or one of the things I'd like to remind y'all whenever you're taking a trip, make sure you uh, make sure you look at uh, where you can get food because I was hungry and I was like, well, there's no stops around this station. There's no food. So uh, I've stopped, uh, went through Wendy's drive through uh, no product, no product placement here. <laughs> Went through Wendy's drive through and now I'm gonna, uh, eat while I'm stopping here for a few minutes, so. If you notice, it actually is 47%. Drove for two hours, six minutes, and I got 129.7 miles. We'll update you and we'll time this and see how long it takes to charge. So yeah, $15, there's 19 minutes, 78%. Had enough time to eat my lunch, and it's all good to go. Just driving here in New Mexico. Don't worry, I got my hands free on. Anyways, just driving here in New Mexico, and I just thought I saw some. I want to show the interesting. If you look over here, man, it is like a little bit cloudy. I don't know if you can tell. You can't even see it in this as much but it is just like smoggy and everything i wonder if that's coming from the fires in texas so this trip has been 47 miles so far since our last charge and this is even going to tell us uh, i'm watching the road this is even going to tell us what our charge level will be whenever we arrive at the location watch the road i am and uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. So right now it's at 62% and it is saying that we're supposed to get there with 41% remaining. I just thought that's kind of cool how uh, all the charging is kind of built into the uh, CarPlay app now. All right, here we are at our second stop. Uh, so we're gonna charge for a few minutes and let me show you here what we got. We are at uh, only 48%. And again, we're just going to top it off. And uh, But the interesting thing is here is that this, we actually got a little bit better uh, once we got out of Colorado here on this little trip, only 83 miles. We got two miles per kilowatt hour instead of the whole trip which I don't know why it hadn't gone up yet, but it's still at 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. So yeah, we've been charging for 20 minutes at this second stop. So, and it's gonna, and it is $21.12 for this particular location. So yeah, we'll head on to get back on the road. So yeah, only 20 minutes on this stop. So we're in Tuckum. Tucumcari, New Mexico, and so we're about 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. We've gone 125 miles on this and drove through some mountains. That's why it took about two uh, hours, 22 minutes, and we are now six hours, 23 minutes into our trip and gone 339 miles so far. So we're going to go ahead and get charged here at Electrify America and I'll let you know how much that's going to cost. All right, we are finishing up here in Tucumcari. I don't know why I want to say it that way. New Mexico. And we are at 83%. Normally I was just going to get it up to 80%. Uh, but I was, uh, it took me a little bit longer in the uh, loves. I don't know if you can see it. It's back there behind us. Anyways, so we are uh, we're done here. I actually just got up to 84%. So let me go ahead and show you what we got. So you can see there we got 84%. And if you look way up there, let's zoom in a little bit. And it is 31.92. And we've been charging for 35 minutes. So let's go ahead and head on to the next stop.
Well guys, I made it to Canyon, Texas. <laughs> All right, so I'll just go ahead and show you how I did now. Now let me tell you, this is actually a really interesting leg of the trip because as soon as I got into Texas, a little bit before actually, as soon as I got on the uh, main interstate, there was a big headwind. I mean, it was like huge. So where you saw that I was getting on the trip earlier, little sections of I was getting 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour, then I was getting 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour, then 1.8 again. Well, this time I actually only got 1.5. Let me show you what I got. So 1.5 right there and uh, drove 121 miles and drove for two hours and eight minutes. So still going about 70. So I am here at a hotel and that's what I wanted to show you guys. That it's really important whenever you're traveling that you find hotels with chargers and I'm gonna get free charging at this hotel. So that's really, really important that you actually look, uh, look into that as you're traveling. And so the overall trip on these new tires, 461 miles was 1.7 miles per kilowatt hour. So that actually, uh, I was thinking 1.8 wasn't that bad. 1.7 dropped it down a little bit, but you have to factor in. Sometimes it's just, you got weather coming in and <laughs> you can't do anything about it. So I actually took a trip in my van uh, that gets really good gas mileage. And man, when I hit a headwind, even in that thing, it dropped it down about a third uh, on the uh, mileage uh, per gallon. So anyways, I just want to tell you, I'm really happy about this. 1.7 is not bad for winter driving. So now again, these are new tires. And so the all terrains probably get a little bit less than the all season. So Alrighty guys, it's the next morning and uh, we stayed here at our hotel in Canyon, Texas. I have uh, lots of things to do around uh, Plainview. That's kind of the goal of the trip, but we're staying here in Canyon, Texas. It's about an hour north because they had a plug uh, so we could get some free charging. But I wanted to summarize uh, for you what, what we did yesterday. Um, and that is we actually drove and 461.2 miles and we had three different times that we charged if you remember it was uh one time for 1620 one time for 2160 another time for 3234 um and all of that totaled up uh including the tax equals 75 dollars and 20 cents which doesn't not, does not sound cheap at all uh, but I did the math on it. Um, here's the crazy thing, though. We had a crazy, crazy headwind on the last leg. And so it dropped our average down to only 1.7 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So we had that crazy headwind. So because of that crazy headwind, where we are right now, um, like, so this is going to be the end of uh, part one of the little trip here. But... Uh, where we are right now is we basically that equals a cost of 16 cents per mile, which is the equivalent of t getting 21.88 miles per gallon if you were paying $3.50 per gallon. So basically right now with this trip so far anyways, it has uh, not really saved us any money as opposed to a gas vehicle. You just get to drive in the cool electric. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, what I've noticed is Electrify America, uh, which is where I have to charge. Um, I know I'm waiting on my little adapter for Tesla. So, But I've noticed that they've been raising their prices a little bit. And so even with the Electrify America Pass that I have, it doesn't actually save much money if you didn't have the pass it would actually be more expensive than gas strangely enough so um so in summary with all of this um 
driving with an electric unless you plan things out like hotels like i stayed here so that's going to give me uh you know free charging going around town and stuff i think it's still something to keep in mind is that find hotels so you can at least get some free charging and then it'll actually end up making your trips actually cheaper than gas but if you don't and you only use electrify america tesla any of them it's going to be about the same price as traveling with a gas truck so gas versus electric um the electric companies have figured out how much they need to charge you uh compared to how much you're paying for gas so just fyi but if you're at home compared to at home uh it's going to be more expensive but if you're at home it's pretty cheap so anyways i just wanted to give you an update this is the end of part one i'm going to record my second part so stay tuned actually this is going to be really good the this one was a little kind of boring hey we're going to this charging station this one this one hey we're going here woohoo yay all right but next one this one is actually going to be really cool because i'm going to be driving straight from this hotel directly home and i'm only going to stop one time so i'm going to show you what that's like am i going to make it i'm going to go 240 something miles on one charge but that's the cool thing about the hotel is that you can charge up to 100%. Anyways, join me on the next video and you'll get to see the second part of our trip.